Hey guys, in today's video we've got a very awesome another NAC card to look at. In this video we're going to look at something different. Maybe I made a very big mistake and I'm going to crash this thing very very hard. You want to know what it is? Stay tuned. So guys, as you know, my heart lays with RC cars, but you know, sometimes you have to try some different things. So I've got a lot of RC cars. I've got small ones, I've got bigger ones, I've got vintage ones, the modern ones, I've got bashes, scrollers, and a lot of other stuff as well. But this time I wanted to do something different, and everything is inside this little box. So let me put this aside and show you what's inside there. Oh yes, we've got a helicopter this time to look at. So as you know, normally I drive only RC cars and this is the first helicopter that I own. So maybe we're going to crash this thing or maybe I'm capable of flying this little thing. But I'm very looking forward to this little thing to flying in the air. So yeah, let's have first look at look what I've got on the table. So this is an RC helicopter and this one is made by RC Era. And this is C138 and I don't know a lot of things about these things. But inside the box came the helicopter, the transmitter, we've got some spare props. USB cable, some tools, and my came with two batteries, which I really, really like. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. The transmitter is all made of plastic, but the quality feels fine. So we've got the on-off switch right over there, we've got two joysticks, and we've got some trim buttons all around there. So this is the three position switch, and this is for controlling the speeds, and we've got a takeoff and landing button right over there, and it runs on four double A's, which you need to supply if you own. And that's all to say about it. And here is the helicopter, guys. What do you think of it? Well, appearance-wise, this thing really looks amazing. Just look at it, man. This looks like a real helicopter, in my opinion. So this is a perfect scale model. So I'm not familiar with helicopters but i think they nailed it with appearance so the the motor inside there is a two brush motor so we've got a brush motor as the main motor and we've got a tail motor sitting right over there and both of them are brushed so in the front of the helicopter you'll find a small led sitting right over there and inside the belly you will add a dedicated battery so this is a 350 milliamp battery and it just slides in like this and then you have got a small button right over there when you press and hold this for one second the helicopter will be powered on so there are two different models available or sorry two different colors available so this is the red one but there's also a blue one so i'll put the link down below so you can check this out, uh, out for yourself but so when you buy the red one you have two options so this one is without optical flow but you can also buy this one with optical flow and what that does is it will lock itself in place so when you fly it for example for a meter above the ground it will look at the ground and it locks itself in place so it doesn't drift you know and another thing is this thing has got a built-in gyro so it should fly very stable so i'm really looking forward to fly this thing so the build quality of this thing really feels uh, yeah sturdy and solid so the yeah the main thing is very sturdy the tail is very sturdy the landing gear everything feels fine in my opinion so yeah let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's powered on To power everything on, I think the first thing you have to do is power on the helicopter. So you've got a small button sitting right over there, so press and hold it for at least one second, and you will see the lights start blinking. So now we have to turn on the transmitter, and you can see the lights will change into rapidly flashing. Now uh, put this joystick forward and backwards, and it should bind. Yes, and it's bound. So that's a very simple thing to do. Another thing I didn't notice before, we've got a small light sitting right over there. So the two lights, are the one in the front and one in the rear, really helped with the orientation of the helicopter. So now it's time to take off, but let's not do it inside. So let's take this thing outside and see how it flies. Oh no, it's raining, we can't go outside, but I will come back to you when it's dry. So guys, it has been raining for the last couple of days, but finally we've got some blue skies up there and it's looking awesome. So now it's time to test this little helicopter. So this is the first helicopter that I own. So I've flown a couple of drones before, but never a helicopter like this. So wish me good luck. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to take off. And we've got one little button sitting right over there. If you press this button, it should take off. So let's press this button and see what happens. Wow, here it goes guys. And stable as well. Oh, it's drifting a little bit, but let's bring it back. So in the reverse mode, here it is guys. Just look at this little thing. So like I mentioned, this is the first helicopter that I have flown. But this thing is so easy to fly, it's so stable. So this helicopter has got a built-in gyro and there's also a version available which has an optical flow. So that's a little camera 
uh, that's uh, yeah underneath the helicopter so it looks at the ground and locks itself in place so this one is the model without it but this thing flies very nice so like i mentioned this is my first helicopter ride and until now i think i do i do yeah it looks pretty promising oh here it comes oh not too fast forward again so here it is into the camera focus again yeah this thing really looks amazing just look at how the helicopter looks man let me see if I can bring it a little bit closer without crashing. Oh, just drifted past the camera. Let's try it one more time. So here it is. Yeah, this thing really looks amazing, guys. Just look at this helicopter and how easy this is to fly. I just totally didn't expect it to be. Oh, so let's see what the speed is. So currently, oh, I am already in the high rate. So let me back it up a little bit. So let's go all the way back. Not down, sorry, back again. So I'm going to floor it straight forward, here we go. Well, it's not the fastest in my opinion. Like I mentioned, I've flown some drones before. But this thing, it's not too bad. So here it comes to the camera. Oh, break, break, break. Ooh, wow. I just totally didn't expect it, this to be that easy to fly. I really enjoyed it, just look at me go. Like I mentioned, this is the first helicopter that I have flown. I've flown some small drones, but this thing is so easy to fly. Yeah, I really, really like this little thing. So I will just give you some flying footage and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts. So guys, that was the flying with this helicopter. And what do I think of it? Well, appearance-wise, this thing looks awesome. Just look at it, man. This thing really looks handsome when you fly this in the air. It just looks like a real helicopter, but only shrunken into a pocket-sized one. I really like the appearance. So, yeah, flying this thing is very easy. And I totally didn't expect it to be. So I've flown some smaller drones before, you know. And yeah, a lot of times they think those things have got like a GPS function inside there. So it's very stable. So this one does have GPS. This one does have optical flow but it does have a gyro function and it's very easy to fly so if you're a totally beginner in this hobby maybe you should buy the one with optical flow so that's even more easy to fly but for me you know this thing was very easy to fly and it was stable so later the day the, day, uh, the wind picked up a little bit so i've flown it in the wind and it did a pretty good job as well so overall i really like this thing so are th there are a couple of different uh, configurations with this model so i've got the one with two batteries but you also can buy a package with three batteries or just one battery that's all up to you but one other thing i want to show you guys just look at the box art so you've got a lot of different options as well so we've got uh, yeah helicopter with only two blades and even with five blades and a lot of different styles so you should check those out because these things are just amazing so for this video that was it guys thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video Bye bye